Okay, so you have an idea of what the end outcome is going to be. You take that, throw it out. So today I want to talk about detaching from the outcome. And in film and in music a lot, we have an idea of what the album cover is going to look like. We have an idea of what the end edit is going to look like. And I was talking to a good dear friend of mine who is a filmmaker and she was talking about people getting attached to the outcome and then absolutely uh, handcuffing themselves to that throughout the process. And throughout your process of whatever you're creating and you have that idea of what the outcome is, you have to let that go or you have to decrease the importance of it in order to get the process to, to, to be in the process as healthy as possible and to, to keep, keep it moving as well as possible. I've seen entire sets, entire albums, uh, entire uh, you know, paintings and, 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 and drawings and artists just absolutely implode because they don't think that the process is going towards the outcome they have in their head. I've watched directors have the entire film cut in their head and when they don't see it playing out that the way that they have it cut in their head, the process implodes. You can't get to the outcome without the process. That is just the way it is. And if anybody believes otherwise, write in the comments below. I'd love to hear your take on it. That being said, you, you, you have to have an ob obvious vision of what you want to do and what you want to get done. But then you also have to absolutely respect how you're going to get there. If you don't keep in mind how you're going to get to that point in place, you, you end up sabotaging yourself in getting there. Um, just a, 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 a small example, um, the Van Dusens. I knew that I wanted the Van Dusens, their promo banner, to look like a million little things from ABC. And I, I ended up making a banner just like that, but it took me a long time to get there. And then I watched a million little things and I was like, man, my show's gonna look dope like that. It looked nothing like it, nothing like it at all. It's handheld cams and stuff moving around and later on people are like, this, uh, this is a really loosey-goosey way of shooting it. And I'm like, what do you mean by loosey-goosey? We got there how we got there. And I loved it. I loved it. There was a certain point in filming the Van Dusen's episodic series that I had to let go. There was no other way. We filmed for 36 days over the course of 10 months. What am I going to do? Halt it? Say reshoot everything? No. It's, it, it's, it may not have fit what I verbatim had in my mind, but it was going to happen regardless. And the end game was to have the episodic series done. Now that's not to say that we decrease the quality to get it done, cut corners to get it done. It's just to say, look, I have the vision in my mind and you're working with a lot of other people and they may not all have it in their head and it's gonna come out the way that it comes out and you have to respect the process in finding that end. And also, you may find something better than you initially had in mind. Just don't marry yourself to it. That's all I'm saying. Um, and if you disagree or agree, I would love to hear what you think about that because I'm still thinking and processing about that process as well. And, and um, I've, I've thought a lot about approaching projects in, being very outcome uh, minded with that and, and how that can sabotage an entire project as well. But uh, detach from the outcome, enjoy the process, you'll get there. Uh, and in the vein of that, um, which has been ever evolving, has been my Patreon. Um, and talk about detaching from an outcome. Uh, go to patreon.com slash Toussaint Morrison where you can get uh, behind the scenes videos on the Van Dusen's, uh, behind the scenes videos on my music and all the good stuff that's about process. And you get uh, early interviews before they ever come out, unreleased content. It's, it's a whole, it's a boatload of fun. Go to patreon.com slash Toussaint Morrison. And if you have any comments, questions, or quandaries. Fill in the comments below. Love y'all and thank you so much for listening to this video and watching this video. Appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.